All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bobby Yakadan from the GMS Singular Branch. This will serve as an in transit edition video. Lord willing, it be edifying unto you brothers out there and a few sisters listening and also learning. Now, um, inspiration for this video is um is drawn from you know a holy conversation that I was having with the uh, the brother Yashalam over in the New York camp, you know, this morning, you know, we were reasoning, you know, going back and forth on a few things concerning, you know, the beauty of having, you know, this wisdom, knowledge and understanding, you know, concerning, you know, how fortunate, you know, we are to actually, you know, possess this wisdom, knowledge and understanding. And Lord willing, you know, if we endure unto the end, you know, we may be um, saved in these last days because that's why we labor. You know, that's why, you know, we make these videos. That's why we go out on the highways and the byways is because we want to be delivered. All right. Because the Lord, you know, has put the spirit, you know, within us to teach this word. You know, the scriptures talking about, talk about being apt to teach. All right. And working out your own salvation in fear and trembling. And the scriptures also, um, make mention of um making full proof of your ministry all right so that's exactly what we do through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh we make full proof you know of our ministry of this opportunity that Yahweh Shem Yahweh has bestowed upon us to Lord willing you know do the right thing and be and be delivered from these dreadful times that's about to be full the earth, all right? So these, these are the kind of things, you know, we were reasoning about. And um, we we're also talking about how, you know, these, these Jake celebrities that have, um, you know, effectively sold their soul for riches and for position in Esau Edom's kingdom, all right? And that's a terrible thing. That is a real, real terrible thing and predicament for Yahweh Shem Yahushai to put you in because you know the scriptures talk about you know how the value of this wisdom knowledge and understanding you know is above all things all right you can't you can't put um, a price tag on this truth on the knowledge of the holy scriptures on the correct understanding of the breakdowns and the wisdom that comes with, you know, this information. You can't put a price on that. So it's above all things upon the face of the earth, man. We literally have, you know, the kingdom, all right, in the spiritual sense, by having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The elder apostle Ricard, you know, was going into that. We already have the kingdom, you know, concerning this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But the physical manifestation of the kingdom, all right, is about to be, handed back over to us, you know, through Yahweh Shai, okay, because we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man, okay, so the physical implementation of the kingdom is about to be brought down through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, it's about to be manifested upon the face of the earth, man, all right, we're going to get that, we're going to get that, you know, as we're joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. But beginning with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, we have the kingdom, all right? We already have the kingdom through this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay? And another thing that we also have is, um, you know, the beginning of our spiritual power, okay? Because having this truth is a form of spiritual power, man, all right? Having this truth is a form of spiritual power. This is the beginning of our spiritual power is first having the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures because through that, everything else is opened up. 
all right? But these celebrities in the world, these Jake celebrities have sold themselves short, okay? Because they've given up and casted away, you know, their integrity just in order to have, you know, a corruptible crown. All right, because that's exactly what they've got. They've been rewarded a corruptible crown from Esau Edom, a crown that Yahweh Hashim Yahweh does not respect. Okay, a crown that doesn't put you in a favor a favorable position with Yahweh Hashim Yahweh In fact, it does the opposite. Okay, the corruptible crown that Esau Edom has given you is despised. Is despised of by Yahweh Hashim Yahweh man. Okay, but we're laboring for that incorruptible crown. Okay, we want to be at a ceremony, all right, with our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, and we want to be, you know, bestowed with crowns upon our heads, man. Okay, we want to be rewarded, you know, for standing stiffly for the name of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, we don't want to cast away our integrity, we, we want to keep our integrity, man. We want to do the right thing in the eyes of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai and Lord willing be favored and counted worthy to be of the elect. Okay, that's what you should be doing. All right, so that's why the scriptures say, you know, that these celebrities, you know, for the want of riches, you know, they've sold their soul. Okay, they've actually sold their soul. They've casted away their integrity. And as a result of that, they're going to get destroyed, man. All right, now you have, um, this rapper or these rappers by the name of um you have what his name's um what's his name um you have uh, gunner and then you have uh, young fuck all right and these guys you know were taken in you know a few weeks ago and charged with um you know recall recall charges which practically means you know it's highly unlikely that they're getting out and you have all of these jakes you know they're still pushing you know, that witchcraft, that they're, they're still pushing, you know, that demonic, you know, message in the music regarding, you know, killing their own brother, you know, their eyes shall be evil towards thy brother. They're still pushing that wicked vibration under Esau's jurisdiction, okay? And it's going nowhere, all right? And you can see how, you know, Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai is taking away the power, you know, from these rappers. The Lord is taking away the significance that these rappers and R&B singers, so on and so forth, once had. Okay, he's taking away that Midas touch, man. Because there used to be a point where, you know, rappers had, you know, a lot of power. They had a lot more influence. Okay, but now it's getting to the point that influence and that power is getting taken away. These guys are dropping like flies. It's either they're getting arrested, you know, Esau's, you know, just straight out, you know, throwing them in jail, throwing away the key, or they're getting gunned down. You know, you had that, that rapper, you know, from Cali. He was performing live and someone straight up came on the stage and stabbed him on, stabbed him in the neck, man. You know, some months back. Okay? So these, these rappers are getting taken out, man. Okay? And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, within the last couple of years, you've had 200 plus rappers. All right? Known rappers. All right? That, you know, people in, you know, because America's a big place. So there's, there's a lot of these guys that I've never even heard of, but they had a following. 200 plus of these rappers, all right, have been killed, have been murdered, you know, died from, you know, various ailments, okay? All kind of things have been happening to these rappers. So the Lord is showing you, all right, that time is up for this kingdom, man. Because the Lord said he was going, he was going to start judgment at his people first. Okay, so you're now seeing that. You're seeing how Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai is taking away a lot of these wicked jakes out of the equation. Okay, because this kingdom, this system is getting ready to go down. Okay, so you best believe, you know, this is a sign of the times, man. This is a sign of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai's coming. Okay, all of these rappers getting judged, all of these women out here getting judged getting brutally, you know, judged through the, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai, you know, freak accidents happening, you had that woman that got her hair caught, she, you know, she was at a job interview, and then she got her hair caught in one of the, in one of the machines, you know, beautiful woman, you know, and it ripped, it ripped the, 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 her skull in pieces, you know, and left, it left the whole, um, 
flurry of blood all over that all over that um factory where she had the job interview and that was a, that was some months ago i've done a video on it you know so you have all kind of judgments going forth among jake man you had the the earthquake in haiti not so long ago okay devastating earthquake you know all kind of jakes died you know 400 plus i believe you know jakes were killed okay so there's there's a lot happening there's a lot going on you just had this boxer i don't know his name but i saw in in, in, in an article today you know he basically um he was he was in in in, in a mid-match I believe he suffered from a brain bleed and he started punching the air. He wasn't even punching his opponent. He started punching the air and then he died later on in hospital. So Jake is getting killed out here. Jake is getting taken out, man. Okay? Jake is getting taken out and then the ones of you that are left in these latter days, the two third of you in the land of America that are left, you're going to get real, real horrid, you know, judgments through the spirit and power of your how about Shumi Arashai, man. Okay, because a lot of you are going to experience the second death, which is them ICBM missiles, man, which is going to be a dreadful thing. That's going to be a dreadful thing. So the one, of, the, the ones of you that have died, you know, you know, around this time period, you know, that's really a little bit of mercy that the Lord has shown you, man. Okay, that's really a little bit of mercy, you know, that you might have received from your Yahweh Shem Shai. You know, at least you get raised up again <laughs> and, and judged. You know, we shouldn't. We know that's gonna happen. You know, at the end, you're gonna get certain people. You know, that are gonna get raised up. You know, to experience. You know, the second death, which is gonna, which is gonna be a dreadful thing upon the face of the earth, man. And that's why you know the scriptures say, through the fear of your how about Shem Yahushai, do we persuade men? All right, we go out there in, in the fear of the Lord, man. Now, obviously, we know it's the right thing. You know that we're doing. We're doing it because because it's the right thing to do. But really, you know, we're motivated by fear. We're motivated by the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's why we're going out there on the highways and the byways, man. You know, because the Lord has given us the spirit to do so. You know, the Lord has given us the mind to know that, you know, this is the right thing to do. And this is why we are actually here. There's no better thing that you could be doing but preaching the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. There's nothing on the earth that trumps that. You know, and that's what the brother was, you know, telling me in the morning as well. He made, you know, an excellent point that, you know, we are we are literally starting with, you know, the elder apostles on down to the, the apostles, the elders and the younger brothers. You know, we're literally the closest thing upon the face of the earth to Yahweh Shimi Shai, Lord willing, if we be of the elect. You know, and you really have to, you know, meditate upon those things, man, because it it makes you um, you know, really meditate on how weighty, you know, our office is upon the face of the earth in being you know, if you will, representatives for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and being his mouthpiece, okay? We're actually the mouthpiece of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's a heavy office, man. That is a heavy office, okay? So it's a blessing, you know, to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Okay, so let's not take, you know, for granted or be, you know, if you will, lackadaisical regarding the job at hand because it's a very serious office man you know and I say that to myself you know first and foremost okay we got we got remained um single-eyed you know concerning this ministry man we got we got put our focus on preaching this word being instant in season out of season okay Well, I'm gonna cut, cut it off there, you know, Lord willing. This uh, lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I'll say Shalom. Kau halal yulah, Yahweh, Barashem, Yahweh Shai, Barashem, Akar Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of great most of Shalom.